Hey there, everybody. <clears throat> so, happy Wednesday. Hopefully yesterday was a good day for uh, for a lot of people. Hey, we had a lot of people attempt the uh, the trigonometry PFA yesterday, so that's awesome. Uh, we had a number of people pass it. Some people pass it in the, on the first attempt, which is really cool, maybe even the second attempt. Um, I also had a couple of people check in um, on that on, on one of my meetings. So remember, oops, let's do this. Okay. So every day, oh my gosh, guys, I can't write. What's happening? Every day, 9.30 and 1.30, those are going to be math help sessions. I'm going to put my Zoom link in the Schoology page every single day so that you have the Zoom link and you can just jump into the help session at 9.30 or 1.30. So today was actually a really good help session. Uh, my guy Gage Unger joined in on the help session. And Gage and I actually found something that is going to be really, really useful for you guys. In the actual PFA, this is what your calculator looks like, okay? Okay. Um, it's a little bit, the toggle switch for radians and degrees can be a little bit confusing. And what Gage and I figured out today is that you want to make your calculator look like this. We do not want your calculator to look like this. Not like this. So you want to be able to see the, the DEG for degrees, okay? I know it's confusing because like that toggle switch will slide over on top of degrees and you're not really sure if you chose degrees or not. So you want to be able to see degrees. That's how you know that you're on the right thing, okay? Uh, one more helpful tip is that occasionally you will see something like arc tan or arc sine or arc arc cosine. Um, hey, it's, I have no idea why they choose it, choose it like this sometimes and choose it the other way other times. That means the exact same thing as inverse tangent and inverse cosine or inverse sine and inverse cosine. Okay. Um, it's two different ways of writing it. I don't know why there's two different ways. I didn't make the rules. I don't know why Summit would have it two different ways. But they do, but that is important for you to know, okay? So those are tips to help out with the PFA. Please, 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 guys. I know that I so, – so me and Mr. Hayden, we, we changed things around. We dropped the last two PFAs and bumped them down to AFAs, um, and that made the line move. So now all of a sudden the line isn't passed yet on, um, on trigonometry. Please take it soon, okay? All the homework we've been doing is about trigonometry – the performance task you're about to do is about trigonometry. Take the PFA also, okay? Like strike while the iron's hot. It's all fresh in your head. Take it while you know it. Don't give yourself time to forget. <clears throat> okay, performance task, okay? So it is available now in homework. All you have to do is fill it in on the homework. You don't have to click submit anything like that. It is available right now in the homework. Um, some tips for that. Show all work and diagrams. I know there are some of you that have a hard time um, writing. Maybe you don't have a stylus or you have a hard time writing your screen. If you write your workout on a piece of paper, you can take a snapshot of it and insert it in there so that I can see your work, me and, or Mr. Hayden can see your work. But we have to see work. We are going to grade you based on the work that we see. Just getting the right answer is not going to get you fully proficient on the rubric, okay? So show all work and diagrams so that we know where you're at, okay? Um, you'll notice once it's graded, you'll see an asterisk by the name, right? So right now it says like, it's called performance task. Once it's been graded, you'll see that me and Mr. Hayden have written on the rubric and we will also change the name so that it has an asterisk right there. Leave that there. 
that helps us sort out who's done it and who hasn't done it. Leave that because if you if you take that off, then we're going to think that you didn't do it. We're going to drink, cry, and grade again. It's going to be a big mess. Okay, so leave that there. Um, what else do you need to know about the performance task, guys? I think that's about it. Okay, um, it is going to be due on Friday. Okay, so that means you have all of today, you have all of tomorrow, you have all of Friday to work on that performance task. Okay, um, finally, ask for help if you need it. If you show up to those Zoom sessions, and again, they are 9.30 and 1.30. If you show up to a Zoom session and ask for help, you are going to get a ton of help. I promise. I'm not out to trick anybody. I'm not out to be a stickler for your grade. I want you to understand this, and I'm going to help a ton, okay? So if you need help, please, 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 please show up to those Zoom sessions and ask for help, okay? I'm so happy to help out. Um, you're going to have to actually talk to me. We're gonna, we'll talk through the problems, but I would love to give you help on this, okay? So big things you guys have going on. PFAs are open. Remember, me and Mr. Hayden are going to go in at 9 and 10 and 11 and 1 and 2. And we're going to approve PFAs for people that have done homework. If you haven't done homework, you might not get it approved, okay? Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can – so all those times we'll be we'll, – we're just going to go in and we're going to approve everybody that has done homework. Um, if you want to do it at a different time, you're welcome to email. We might not always get back to you right away. Okay. We might just have you wait until one of those times. Um, so you've got PFAs you should be working on. You have performance tasks that you should be working on that's due on Friday. Okay. If you have any questions, please, please, please send me an email, join one of the zoom sessions. Good luck. Have a great Wednesday.